All right, so we're back at it again. The paint has barely dried on the last video. It's a Saturday morning. I'm doing something I never do. I'm game hunting early and I'm game hunting at the weekend. So we're just gonna jump into one or two, try something a little bit different and see if we can find any games. Okay, so nothing in that one. The only games they had there were all the FIFAs that we left behind last Tuesday. I was tempted by that remote control Mario Kart, but 15 euro was a little bit steep and the Mario Shrine is fairly packed as it is, so we left it behind for someone else. But I'm outside Jack and Jill now, so we're gonna go in and have a reel around. We'll hit the charity shop in Kulak. Hopefully we get a few bits. If not, we're just running a few errands. I have to go to Woody's and pick up a few bits. It's a kind of a DIY day, so this is more of a cheeky little few charity shop stops than anything else. So, but plenty of game hunting to come next week, but let's get into the Jack and Jill and let's see what happens. All right, so just grab that Undertaker 3 DVD box. So they gave it a scan. It's probably worth about a fiver. Paid a euro for it. Don't really have a massive wrestling DVD collection like that. I know some of the VHS are worth a few quid, and some of the DVDs are as well, but... Whenever I see them in the charity shops for Euro, I just can't leave them behind. I always pick them up, so at least we won't leave the day empty-handed. But we pop down to the last one now. Anyway, we'll be optimistic and hopefully we find some games. Okay, so that was a successful stop. Got a few bits and bobs. Didn't have much on the game front, but I did pick up Mag on the PS3. I don't think I have it. It's probably only worth about two euro. It's just your usual first person shooter sort of thing. But um, yeah, one we don't have, so we'll give it a go. I paid two euro each for these. Now, these are more of an education than anything else. I know sometimes these are worth nothing. Sometimes they're worth maybe 10 euro on eBay because someone needs them to complete like, you know, a set with the portal and figures and stuff like that. But picked up Trap Team and Swap Force. They were both in there. I actually never even checked the discs. and oh, that's perfect. It's never even been used. And this one is absolutely spotless as well. So I don't know, we might sell them off locally if we can't get anything decent in trade for them. But I also picked up, it's a wrestling kind of day. I have an Undertaker box set from the last stop and then we have Brett the Hitman here. Couldn't leave that one behind. It was 250. I don't think it's probably even worth that in trade, but one we're gonna keep. We'll probably end up with a little wrestling shelf at this stage. And then I got these two DVDs. Ouija, the Origins, Origins of Evil, or Origin of Evil, can't even talk, and Sinister 2. I'm not into horror films, really. I uh, don't mind the odd classic one, but these sort of more modern type ones, not really my sort of thing. But they were 50 cent each, and I think one of them's going to trade for two, and one's going to trade for four, so instantly turning a euro into six euro in trade credit, so we cannot go wrong there. And then the find of the day has to be this Goosebumps, the complete collection. All the discs are in here. This was five euro. I could bring it up to CX and trade it in for 13. I think it'd be a shame to trade this off. I probably would keep it, but I just need to check in with one person. There's a follower of the channel, also known as the other chap. And I know he's a bit of a Goosebumps fan, so I'm gonna see if he has this. If he doesn't, he might be getting an early Christmas present. We'll wait and see. But yeah, we'll leave it at that for today. I'm outside Woody's now. I don't think anyone wants to go washing line pulley hunting with me unless I'm missing out on a sort of a niche there. Hello, welcome to another episode of Washing Line Pulley Hunting. We're outside Woody's in Kulak right now. Will we find the washing line pulleys? Will we not? It's all high stakes today. Let's get in there and see if we can find it.
idea where to look for these. Okay, okay, washing line pulley, pulley hunting, hunting has been a success. success. 14, 14, 58, 58 for two washing line pulleys. Here they are here, I did the right ones. Better, better be. So we're heading so we're home, heading join home. us again for another, another episode of, of washing, washing line pulley hunting. hunting. There or something, I don't know, but we'll pop in there, get a few bits, and we'll be back with the hunting in a few days. Okay, so it's not a hunting day, I'm in Swords. Mrs. Retro Games are in River Island, or Pennies or somewhere like that, so we managed to sneak off for 10 minutes. So we're just gonna jump into the two charity shops out here and see if we can find anything. Alright, so that was well worth jumping out for. Nothing in the first stop, there's a few cheapy Xbox 360 Kinect games and a FIFA 17. Went to the second shop though and ended up grabbing six games. So these were all priced three euro each. I've mentioned before when you go into a Vincent's, they're down as DVDs, so they're a multi-buy, so they're buy two, get one free. So they're basically two euro each. So five of them I don't have, and I just grabbed this Black Ops to get a bit back in trade. I'm not sure if it's, I think the last time I checked it was going for about four or five in trade credit. So that'll pretty much pay for half the bundle but grabbed Dead Space. I do have the first Dead Space on the 360, but I have the second and Torben on the PS3, and I still don't have a 360 set up in the game room, so we'll grab that and have a shot of it, and then grabbed two Star Wars games, The Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2. This one could do with a bit of a wipe, it's fairly manky, but we can sort that out. And then the other three games, or other two games we got were Ace Combat Squadron Leader, and sticking to the depths of our team, we got Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II. So I don't think I have any of those, but I think they trade okay if we do. So well worth a little stop off. But like I said, not a hunting day, just a quick jump out into two charity shops and proof that you never know what you're going to get. Always worth checking them out. Yes, yeah, so we'll leave it at that for today and we'll head out for a bit of hunting during the week. So we're back on the road again. This time we're heading to Drogheda. We haven't been there in a while. I do have a few people in the Discord and a few people that I talked to on Instagram who do a bit of hunting in Drogheda, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be a bit dry or not. But we'll get out there, we'll hit as many shops as we can and hopefully we we'll find some games. So we're gonna hit you with some fancy B-roll now and we'll see you in Drogheda.
right, so grabbed six games in there. It was mostly the dredges. And this Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy is like a 10 euro game, so not a bad stuff. So six games, mostly just filler for the collection, but we'll keep going to see what else we can get. few questionable titles in there, but they were priced 50 cent a euro, so I just picked up loads of a bag of games here, and I got charged 11 euro. Everything in here, so we'll go through it when we get back to the house, but we still have three shops to go, so let's keep going.
Towel for the end of the game hunting on this one. Absolutely cleaned up in that stuff. I've no idea what was in that pile really. There's about 20 games at least. Paid 11 euro for it, and there's a Wii Sports in there that's going to pay for the whole lot. So it's basically a free pile of games. So nothing mad in there. A few okay ones. We'll have a bit of crack going through it. There was a load of stuff in that other uh, shop that you've probably seen for the 360. A lot of those games were 5 euro. Opened them up, had a look at a few of them, they were mostly kind of scratched up, so there was nothing in there really, there was no value to trade, there was nothing really wanted for the collection, but did grab a couple of two euro Wii games as well, so, but look, we'll get everything home, we'll throw it all on the kitchen table, and we'll go through it all when we get back to the house, and we'll see you there. Alright, so it's fairly late in the evening, we're back from Drogheda, I just said I'd go through all the stuff that I picked up while it's still fresh in my mind, picked up a bonkers amount of games today. But just going back to, well, before the start of today, I showed a few bits from the last few days in the car. Uh, these are two other games that have come in since. This is just a friend of mine just came across these randomly and gave them to me. But Transformers and the first Kill Zone on the PS2 don't have either of these. Both of them are complete, so delighted to add those into the collection. And then on to today. Like I said in the car going to Drada, I was expecting to be a bit dry. There's a lot of people in the community that have been talking about, you know, how Drada's a bit dry. They've been not finding too many games there. So we were kind of finding ourselves out that way anyway. So I just thought, why not do the rounds, go to all the shops, manage to get to every single one of them in the end. Picked up games in one, two, three, four of the stops, and then just a random Blu-ray in the other one. So back to the first one. I did talk very quickly outside, but... The reason I'm even going through all these is not just the volume of stuff. I'll talk about that mad stop in a minute. But I grabbed these six games. They're actually all taped shut. I probably should have brought something with me to start opening them, but should look, should have negotiated a bit of cell tape, okay. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going through. I haven't checked any of these. I'm pretty sure they all have discs because I get them a shake and you by the weight and stuff. I've no idea what's complete. I've no idea if the right discs are in there. So we're just going to find out together all of what we got today. So we'll start off with Formula One 2002. These were pretty much all the euro each. I think one of them was 50 cents, so we just picked them up for the crack. So there's no manual in this one. Game disc is, oh Jesus Christ. A term I like to use for the likes of them is it has been pretty loved, but it does come with this little bonus disc thing. It's like the uh, official review of the 2001 Formula One World Championship. So that's been pretty loved as well. But sure, look. As I've been saying lately, for the sake of a euro, we're nearly just grabbing a lot of what we see and just worrying about it later because the likes of these blue cases and stuff are going to be worth a euro for a little replacement case or something. But International Q Club, this one is complete. Another pre-loved disc. But like I said, for euro, we're not going to complain. 
Picked up Ben 10 Vilgax Attacks. I should actually get my phone out and start checking if any of these are even worth anything. Didn't really pick up any of these for trade. These were more just games that I didn't have for the collection, so they're at that price. We don't even bother looking. There are a few bits here that I know trade well, and a few I think we might get a few quid for, but I'd love a look. People always ask me what I use to scan. This is just the CEX app. It's not perfect, it doesn't always pull games up, but they give you a good quick idea on the fly. So I'll just put little shots in the corner of values and stuff like this, but yeah, it trades for Europe. So worst case, we'll get back what we paid for it. A copy of this Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. This is another one that's taped shut. I am probably going to fail massively trying to open these. I might have to do a bit of a jump cutting. Oh, another one that's fully complete. And this disc is not too bad, actually. They even opened the Ben 10 that time. Yeah, that's complete as well. And not a bad disc on that one. So. This one was a bit of an unusual one. I said outside the place that it was a disc only bar Batman Arkham Asylum. I don't think I have this one. I might have it on the PS3, but I don't think I have the 360 version. So I just grabbed it. The disc is in there and it's actually pretty perfect. So that's cool. And I thought it was going to be, you know, just in the box or some sort of repro cover, but it's actually the manual that's in there. So that's not bad. I'm sure we'll come across the case someday and complete a copy of that. And then the last one that I got in there, this is one I've never heard of. It actually looks okay. It looks like a bit of crack. If I can get it open, this Sphinx, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Well, there's a disc in there. I can hear it rattling around. No manual, unfortunately, but that's that one there. And I think I don't have a quick look. I'm almost certain this one actually trades okay. So if we pop it in and have a play, but it's really bad. We can recoup a few quid. Yeah, sells for a tenner and three euro voucher and trade in for that. So that was the first stop. Went to another place, found absolutely nothing. And then in the third shop, got these five games. Two of them were 50 cent each and two of them were a euro each. So where would you be going? This one I've never seen before. It's Great Battles of Rome by the History Channel. So I presume the History Channel had some sort of role in production. And it says here you take command of the legendary Roman army. So... I assume it's just some sort of period in history and you replay it. But this came complete with a manual and the disc, just like a fingerprint. And that's it. There's not even a tiny scratch. So I wouldn't say that's even been played. So I want to put in for a go of one day. Actually, let's have a look. I'm not going to check all of these. Just a few random ones that I haven't seen before. It sells for 250 trades for 70 cents. So like I said, 50 cent game. We'll just keep that for the collection. WRC2, I might actually have this one already. It only trades for about 70 cents anyway, so we paid 50, so we can still profit on it. Not the 20 cents I'm very home about, but another complete one. Grab this again, one I don't think I have. This is complete. It's Call of Duty 3 on the Wii with Grand Disc. Uh, I have a feeling this one trades for about a cent. No, it actually trades for two euro, so. Not too bad. And then grab this monster 4x4. Again, fully complete. Not the best disc, but I think that'll rub out okay. And there's actually no barcode in this at all, which is very strange. So if there's a reason for that and you know, let me know. I assume it just came in some sort of a little pack with a wheel or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that was that one. I will skip ahead. I'll leave the big pile till the end, actually, is the best thing to do. Went into another shop after that, just grabbed a copy of Resident Evil Extraction for 50 cent on Blu-ray. Actually, didn't even have a signal in there to see if it was worth anything. Kind of just grabbed it for the collection. No, trades for 10 cents, sells for 2 euro, but we're going to keep it. And then these two absolute bangers. Actually, I do need to talk about this stuff, because you'll see footage in there. There was a load of 360 games on the shelf. I seen these games back in, I didn't film them, I think it was actually Mrs. Retro Games Ireland FaceTimed me from the shop. They had a load of 360 stuff at the time, but they're looking for a fiver each for all those games. A lot of them are fairly scuffed up, so I think it kind of speaks volumes to the quality of the games and the price of them that they're still sitting there two, three months later. So I didn't pick up any of the 360 stuff, but did grab two random bits. I got a copy of Garfield 2. I didn't even know there was a Garfield game. I have no idea if they're any good, but this was very clean. 
almost looked new and it would actually just trade for three quid so for two euro it wasn't bad but yeah it's absolutely perfect in there minty manuel and look at the disc it's never even been played either so not bad for two euro and then <laughs> i don't even know why i grabbed this i just have this weird thing with wii games that i don't have i just get them now not that we'll be going for a full wii set or anything like that how many games are actually in a full wii set it must be is it over a thousand is it five six hundred something like that i don't have a clue but we probably have about 150 of them at this stage, so you never know. But this is Planet Rescue Wildlife Vet. So probably one more for the budding young vets in your house, if you have any of them. But I do keep buying these games because I swear one day I'm going to sit down and I'm going to film myself playing all these crappy one-year games and see if we can find any hidden gems. So now onto this mammoth pile here. Now the first thing I will say... A lot of these didn't have prices on them. A lot of them were priced 50 cents. A lot of them were euro. This shop that I've been in generally only charges me 50 cents or euro for games. There is about 21 or 22 games in here and I got charged 11 euro for them. The great part is one of the games was We Spits in the... We Spits? <laughs> we Sports in the cardboard sleeve. This trades for 11. So that's our money back straight away. So 20 of these games we're going to be adding for free. There's probably two or three more in here that I already have, and never mind the trade value, we could probably bring them up to CX and get cash and pay for absolutely everything that we've picked up this week. So essentially this is gonna be a pile of free games. So that's the way we love to do it on this channel. I'm sure that's the way most people like to do it, is buy stuff, get CX to pay for it, and keep it for free. Next up is this absolutely immaculate condition copy of The Sims 3 Pets on the 360. Uh, I think even CEX would probably say no to this one, but um, maybe we can transplant it into another case or something like that. Because it goes for Fiverr Voucher. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, there's two discs. Is it in here? It is. Okay. So we got a bonus disc for this one. A copy of Fight Night Round 3. And I think the Fight Night games on the 360 actually do okay. Uh, that's... I don't know. That's probably beyond saving. The Sims disc, not horrific. I've gotten worse from CEX, so I assume that means that they take it off me. So, yeah, it's fairly chewed up and all that. I actually think this was in a box. We won't, we won't go into where it's probably been. Another mad Wii game that we got. G-Force. Something's actually telling me I might have this already. I don't know why. I just remember sitting down in front of the camera talking about a weird hamster game. Where the hamster looks like a spy or something. So I'm going to guess that I do have this already. So we'll have a look and see how much it trades for up to 70 cents. So that's no good. We, have a, we do have a debt pile of trade that I've been kind of thinking about bringing up and trading all the cheap, cheap, cheap games and see what we get in. Now, <laughs> before I go any further, there's a lot of crap in this pile. There's some good games, some stuff I want for the collection, some good traders. But I kind of just lost the run of myself. There were so many games there that were piling up. I just... Grabbed the pile and ran. I probably left some good ones behind and I probably brought a lot of shit like this home, but Pro Evo 2009. This was 50 cent. No real intentions of keeping it. It's not the best disc anyway. But like I said, maybe we can take the case for this one and the chewed up case for this one and turn. I think the average price of these is going to be less than 50 cent, so we'll probably turn a euro into five euro trade credit doing it that way. So all is not lost. I definitely have this a few times over, Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Every time I find it, funnily enough, it comes with this bonus disc, but not only, not always with a manual. But we'll have a look and see if we get anything first, because we have it so many times over. Actually, there's no barcode in that either, which is weird. I think I brought two of them up in my last trade pile, so they obviously trade for about 150 or more, because that's kind of where I draw the line. So, I'm sure it's worth more than that. I don't know why I actually picked this up either. Connect Adventures for 50 cents. It's probably not even worth a cent and it's cracked. But like I said, lost the run of myself in this place. A copy of Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Nice disc on it. Again, another one I might have and I don't really think it trades that well. But like I said, I kind of just grabbed the pile and ran thinking it'd be a bit of crack just to go through it and see all what's in there. It's worth a cent to trade, by the way, in case you're wondering. Cars 2. This feels like there's a disc in it, but it doesn't feel like it's a manual. That actually trades for six and sells for... Oh, there is a manual in it as well. So that's a nice complete one. I actually picked this up in the last video on the Wii, so. I've been saying for a while, I must actually go through the collection and anything that's like cross-contaminated, I have one for Wii, one for Xbox. I probably have games for three different consoles at this stage. But I must just keep one version and bring the others up for trade. Connect Joyride. I don't know if any of these Connect games are actually worth money or not. That one's not. And then Dance Central 2. 
and Dan sent from three. So I'm kind of hoping there's a bit of trade on these ones, although this one sells, or at some stage, sold for 315 CEX. So I don't know. Both of them have discs and manuels. Not that makes a difference to how much CEX give you for uh, trades for euro. And I guess that does pretty much the same. Oh, trades for three euro actually. So Dan Central Tree, if you see that for 50 cent, pick it up. That's a time sixer. I don't think you'll be keeping that. So a couple of unusual wee ones coming up here. Planet 51, the game. Never heard of it, no, nothing about it. Looks like a bit of crack. It's like all these different mini games and stuff. So that's the sort of thing I like having a bash of. Is it worth anything? Trades for a euro and 10 cents, but one we'll keep for the collection. This one now, I think this is like one of these that needs a mat, yeah. So I think that means you need the mat for it. But it's still brand new and sealed. It's Family Trainer Treasure Adventure. I'm gonna guess this is gonna tell me a euro or two in value. No, 50 cents. Oh well. If you know anyone that's out for grading a copy of Family Trainer Treasure Adventure and they want a nice sealed copy, let me know. But grabs another one here. This is Just Dance 2014. There's a sticker over the barcode. Let me see, is it quicker to peel this off and give it a scan or is it gonna be quicker to type it in? No, it's gonna be quicker to type it in. So Just Dance 2014. I might have picked this up in a recent video and it wasn't quite worth as much in trade as I thought it was or was at one stage. I think during COVID and stuff like that. Oh, actually, no, that I'll get a screenshot of it and put it up. The trades for four euro. So again, it's all adding up, all this trade stuff. We're definitely going to cover all our costs for this whole video. This one should be worth a few quid. Farming Simulator. Never played a farming game before. Not really my thing, but... Yeah, trades for four euro. Is it in there? I can hear it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. No manual, but... A classics copy of Halo 3. Fun fact, I think I've mentioned before, I've never even played a Halo game before. That's not scanning, but I'm guessing Halo is that common that it's only going to be a euro if even. Oh, 110. So there we go. Down to our last six or seven. A copy of Tele Addicts. I'm going to guess anyone watching America doesn't have a clue what this is. This is Noel Edmonds. It's just like one of these game show things that was on the telly. This is the Wii game version of it. Not even going to bother scanning that one. Lego. Oh, the Lego movie video game. I actually seen the last half hour of this over Christmas and it actually looked pretty decent. I've never actually sat down and watched the whole thing. Is it worth anything? It trades for two quid. Well, it's complete. I have a few Lego bits and bobs, but I don't know how much they are. How much they are? I have a few Lego bits and bobs, but I don't know if any of them are any good. I haven't really played too many of them, but I believe they're a bit of crack. Don't know if I have that one, though. I grabbed Skylander Swap Force on the Wii. I have really got to look up and see if any of these are valuable. I know there's a few of them that are, and I generally leave them behind, but again, 50 cents, nice Wii case. Comes with, I don't know what these are, crossbows and stuff. There's activation codes in there, so I don't know. If you're into your Skylanders and you want some activation codes for crossbows, let me know. Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. May or may not have it, I'm not even looking it up. It's not going to be worth much. This one's definitely not going to be worth anything. Connect Sports. The barcode is stickered over, so we'll have a quick check of it here. I'm going to guess it trades for a cent. No, it trades for 70 cents. There you go. Okay, I know. And then last but not least, not exactly ending on a high, but a copy of Michael Jackson, The Experience for Connect. I know at one stage in America, this one, I don't know, it was on the Wii, was actually worth a few quid. But over here, it's worth 70 cents. So there you go, nothing absolutely outstanding in that pile, but as I said, we're gonna bring a few bits up. We might actually just take the cash and for once pay for everything that we've picked up. But lots of games for this video. Apologies for the background. If you haven't joined me for the last few videos, the game room is undergoing a bit of a revamp, so there's not really much space up there to record. So I'm just sitting here with me, I'll take measure. Wait, are you even a YouTuber if you don't have a light box with your channel name on it? And you'll have seen this framed video in a short lately, or this framed video? You'll have seen this framed poster in a short lately. I've actually managed to frame up another three vintage Nintendo 64 posters, but we'll probably keep them for the game room tour. But I think that looks pretty cool. So that just filled a void in the wall because we might have to record here for another month or so. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for joining me. I'm not sure where in the matrix this video is because I'm actually shooting and editing and putting videos up a little bit out of the timeline at the moment. I'm trying to kind of get ahead of myself so I can get stuff out regularly because I know I'm not the most reliable. So hopefully going forward, we'll get one at least every second week and maybe a bonus one sprinkled in between. But yeah, thanks for sticking to the end of the video and we'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.